Okay, so yesterday was tax day, April 15th. I hope you got your taxes in. I got mine in, I think. We had tax day, yay! Pay the government money. Everyone loves to do it. Um, I've been a long time advocate of actually a flat tax without tax brackets, without people not paying taxes, just because I think it's actually fair. Well, you're just, you know, you come from money and that's why you, you like that stylish drive a 10 year old economy car that's besides the point here's the thing we're all equal so why should anyone have to pay more taxes is it fair we had a tax day tea party yesterday which i actually went to one uh, up here near where i live i went to one in louisville louisville kentucky the 16th largest city in the nation and it was fun uh, we were there. We were peaceful. There were a number of police on the scene just in case something happened, which nothing did. Local media covered it. Uh, we had a lot of people that drove by. We had a few people that, uh, that stopped by and, you know, with the window down while they were waiting at a stoplight said, hey, I wish I could be here, but I can't. Uh, one guy was in a, a water truck. Um, you know, we, we thanked those people. I, I thanked those people. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play part of this video that was from the Chicago Tax Day Tea Party. And I want you to pay attention to two things. Two. One is the reporter, so it's kind of hard not to notice her. She's the one with the microphone, and generally you only see the back of her head. Okay. The other two, she starts talking to one guy, and then she starts talking to another guy. And both of these guys, I uh, don't really agree with. Um, I don't think it's fair to call Obama a fascist yet. He is kind of going that way. I don't agree with his ideology, so why do I really need to care where it's going? I don't agree with where it's at. And with the near future, I don't agree with either. So it doesn't matter what the long-term goal is. Do you, do, you realize how, do you realize how offensive that is? I think he's a fascist. Why? Because he is. In what way can you say that? Because the real pirates are in the, in the White House, in the Senate, and in the Congress, we need one term limits for all these po elected politicians. Why be so hard on the President of the United States, though, with such an offensive message? Do you realize how offensive that is? Why should you be so hard on the President of the United States with such an offensive message? Never mind the past eight years of CNN and basically all the national media dragging Bush over the coals. Never mind. Oh my gosh. This man's holding a sign that says Obama is a fascist. And she is basically flabbergasted. Okay, all right. So, okay, we've got a fascist drop the taxes. Okay, let's see, you're here with your two-year-old, and you're already in debt. Why are you here today? Because I hear a president say that he believed in what Lincoln stood for. Lincoln's primary thing was he believed that people had the right to liberty. And they had the right. Sir, what does this have to do with taxes? What does this have to do with your taxes? Do you realize that you're eligible for a $400 credit? my point. Ma'am, what does this have to do with reporting? You're a reporter? Seriously, you're a reporter. You ask a question, you get an answer. You're being an idiot. You're acting like one. She walked in there and she knew what she was going to say. Sir, do you realize you get a tax credit? Well, who cares? Do you, do you listen to what he's saying? He's saying we're being overtaxed. Lincoln, Lincoln believed that people had the right to share in the fruits of their own labor and that government should not take it. And we have clearly gotten to that point. Wait, uh, wait. Did you, know, did you, know, that, did you know that the state of Lincoln gets $50 billion out of these stimulus? That's $50 billion for this state, sir. I think you get the general tenor of this. Uh, it's anti-government. Anti-government. Anti-CNN. Anti-CNN. Since this is highly promoted by the right-wing conservative network Fox, and I think uh, this is not really family viewing. And not family viewing. Anti-government. Anti-CNN. And not family viewing. Well, if you notice in the video, it's at 1.10 p.m. And you know, families are just gathering around the TV to watch the news. Give me a freaking break. Are you, st I mean, what? Are you stupid? Family viewing? This is CNN. These are the people that were clamoring at the door of the government to embed reporters so the cameras would be rolling when an IED goes off 
or an RPG hits one of our Hummers so that they can be there, right there, showing the blood and the gore and people dying. And she's saying this isn't family viewing? So is, how is this anti-government? I'm confused. Uh, the people that hate Bush, that wanted the war to end, that's not anti-government. Burning an American flag, the symbol of our nation, burning it, not anti-government. Saying you don't want to pay taxes, that's anti-government. Now, I've, I've heard something about that before. Where have I heard something about this? Something about taxes and government, pro-government, what do you call somebody's pro-government? Patriot. So if you pay taxes, then you're a patriot. Time to be patriotic, Kate. Time to jump in. We want to take money and put it back in the pocket of middle class. We want to take money. We want to take money. They're still going to pay less taxes than they paid under Reagan and put it back in the pocket of middle class. Time to help get America out of the rut. They're still going to pay less taxes than they paid under Reagan. We want to take money 